All right, that is my cue. Hello everyone. In this virtual world, we come together. Welcome to this Groundswell Annual Showcase. And yes, that is me. And yes, I am coming to you from Grand Valley's WGVU Studios. So honored to be here. And next year, we'll all be together again, up close and personal. But, personal. but this is going to be a fun evening. And we thank you, of course, for being here. Excited to see the work, of course, of the West Michigan students to protect who protect and will protect our local environment. Here we are, Groundswell is one of seven hubs of the Great Lakes Stewardship Initiative whose mission is to engage students, of course, in community-based projects to enhance learning and foster the next generation of environmental students. Shamit Hills K through eight, your name, your grade, your subject, and the great project you've done. Hi, I'm Stephanie Nielsen. I teach kindergarten at Shawmut Hills. So this year we started diving into um, what sort of place-based education experiences we already offer our students and how we can um, implement more. Next slide. So we have an established garden that uh, my classroom started a few years ago. Um, but it's mostly been just my class involved. So we started looking at what the barriers are for other classrooms being involved in outdoor learning. And some of those barriers were access to tools for learning outdoors, ideas for lessons and management activities outdoors, and then just um, teacher education. Why are we doing this? Are we invested in it? Do we value it? Next slide. So I participated in the GRPS Green PD series and part of that work um, connected me with the Outdoor Discovery Center to participate in a virtual field trip. They provided us with some phenology journals and um, they, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and some outdoor learning kits for making some observation outdoors. Next slide. So as other classrooms saw me using these tools outdoors and talking more about place-based education, they became more interested in the garden and getting their kids outdoors as well, which led us to our Groundswell work. Next slide. Um, so ground, the Groundswell grant has provided us with some outdoor learning kits, um, more clipboards, journals, uh, tweezers, wagons, so that we can really go beyond the garden and use our schoolyard to its fullest extent. We also had some yoga mats donated by Grand Valley's Health and Fitness Center that were used and they were just going to throw them out. So we took advantage of that. Next slide. Um, here are my students with our wagon using our schoolyard space and their new learning kits. Next slide. So a highlight for us has really um, been observing students create a friendship with nature. Uh, so our second grade teacher had a brilliant idea when they were out doing their phonology journal studies that each student identified a tree as their own. And so they had a space to go to every time they went out to um, do their phonology journal studies. Next slide. So coming up next, we have um, pollinator gardens, which seems to be a great theme here, but our students notice that we have some flower beds and spaces throughout our schoolyard that have been neglected. And so we have been studying pollinators. We have purchased some plants um, and we had seeds donated through the junior garden, master garden program um, with the 4-H. Uh, and so we're looking forward to putting in some pocket pollinator gardens throughout our schoolyard. Next slide. And to touch on one of our barriers being teacher knowledge, we've been able to purchase some books on place-based education so that our teachers who want to can participate in a summer book club. And we have a few teachers who are really excited about that. Um, so this project started a few years ago with one classroom and now we have seven classrooms interested. So it's just been really great to see um, this contagious effort to grow throughout our school. Thank you, Groundswell, and everybody else who has helped in our efforts at Shawmut Hills. 